Hey guys, so today I'm going to read you my all-time favorite Halloween book, The Halloweena. There once was a dog named Oscar who was half a dog tall and one and a half dogs long. Because of his unusual shape and size, all the other dogs made fun of him. Wiener dog, wiener dog, they called him, and Oscar did not like it one bit. Oscar's mother was no help either. Every morning when the dogs walked off to obedience school, Oscar's mother stood in the front yard waving and calling, farewell my Vienna sausage. And the other dogs laughed and laughed. Most of the time, Oscar was upset by all this, but not today. Today was Halloween and Oscar was thinking about other things. All day long at obedience school, Oscar daydreamed about Halloween night, trick or treats and scary costumes. When Oscar got home, he dashed upstairs to start working on his scary Halloween costume. But when he got to his room, a surprise was waiting for him. Happy Halloween, my little sausage link, said Oscar's mother. I've made you a costume to wear for trick or treats. It was a giant hot dog bun, complete with mustard. And guess who was supposed to go in the middle? Oscar did not want to hurt his mother's feelings. So he decided to wear the scary costume. That night, all the dogs on the block gathered to show off their costumes. Everyone was looking quite scary. Then Oscar showed up looking quite frank for Oscar. When the dogs saw Oscar in his silly costume, they howled with laughter. Look at Oscar, they cried. He really is a wiener dog. Poor Oscar was so embarrassed. Wiener dog, wiener dog, laughed the other dogs as they ran off to go trick-or-treating. Oscar tried to keep up with the dogs, but his silly costume kept slowing him down. All night long, the other dogs hounded every treat they could get their paws on. So by the time Oscar got to each house, there were no treats left. Soon trick-or-treating was over and the dogs walked home past a spooky graveyard. Suddenly a horrible hissing sound filled the air. Let me hear. Hiss. The dogs stopped dead in their tracks. Then out of the graveyard rose a ghastly monster. The dogs screamed for their lives. They dropped their treats and jumped into a nearby pond. The monster moved closer and closer. cried the dogs. The monster yelled and hissed, <laughs> sobbed the dogs. The monster jumped up and down, somebody save us, shrieked the dogs. Hmm, you think it's Oscar? Just then somebody showed up. It was Oscar. Because Oscar was so short, he saw something that the other dogs had not seen. That's no monster, cried Oscar with a loud bark. Oscar waddled to the rescue. Oscar chomped and tugged with all his might. Who do you think it is? Rip. And there, standing in the moonlight, were a couple of ornery cats. Help, cried the cats. We're being attacked by a giant frankfurter, as they ran off screaming through the graveyard. The dogs in the pond had been, or sorry, had seen the whole thing, and now it was their turn to be embarrassed. We've been chased into a pond by a couple of cats, they moaned. But Oscar was a true friend. He leaped into the water and swam out to the dogs. Look. Oscar's silly costume made a wonderful life raft, and the dogs climbed up. All aboard, Oscar called, and he dog paddled back to shore. What a good guy. When they got back to dry land, all the dogs shared their Halloween treats with Oscar. Because Oscar had been so brave, the dogs changed his nickname from Wiener Dog to a Hero Sandwich. 
And from that night on, nobody ever made fun of Oscar again. Happy Halloween. All right, so I don't know if you've ever heard that story, but oh, it is my favorite. I love to read it every October. So here is your challenge for today. You are going to print out this paper. And yes, this is me. And you are going to design my Halloween costume. What do you think I should be for Halloween? So up here it says, I think Mrs. Harp should be a blank. Be creative. What do you think I should dress up for for Halloween? Make a prediction of what you think I'm going to dress up for. And then when we meet soon for our um, author's chair, our Halloween author's chair, you'll see if your prediction is right. And then I want you to come up with a couple reasons or an explanation of why I should be what you picked. And don't forget to write your name. Then you'll take a picture and submit it to our photo album. I cannot wait to see what you're choosing for my Halloween costume. Maybe my favorite I will pick to beat for Halloween. All right, have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.